I've been here at Solus Vrida in Kildare with AFRI all day. A fantastic event, a lot of learning on the topic of climate change. You always come away with hope after one of these because we get good, solid information on what's really important. This year, uh, 2016, a hundred years since the rising and the proclamation. Uh, and I certainly find great inspiration in the courage of the men and women of 1916 who stood up to an empire not knowing what the outcome was. But I think this time we need to write a proclamation for the planet and have a rising on behalf of the planet. What was most informative for me was all of the people in the afternoon who stood up for five minutes and talked about fantastic initiatives around agriculture, solar panels, eco-villages, educational projects for young people, all of the things that are happening around the country to tackle climate change and to begin to deal with the issue of our carbon emissions. I always had a vague awareness that there was a so-called problem with our planet and I had a rough grasp on the concept of global warming and knew that it was affecting our climate. I also knew that the melting ice caps meant that polar bears wouldn't be around for much longer. But I had no idea just how devastating climate change was going to be for my future, for everyone's future. We have the possibility and the ambition to get to a situation where we have a fossil-free energy system. We can have an energy system uh, by 2050 which will essentially rely on wind power, on solar power and on renewable biomass. As Alan Matthews has pointed out, is an intermittent source of energy. The wind doesn't always blow, so it produces usable electricity about 30% of the time, and you don't know when that's going to turn up. So you always have to have wind backed up by conventional sources or a biomass or something, a renewable that is actually reliable. That is the way it is at the moment. I'm no advocate for industrial wind or industrial renewables. I very much think we should be community focused. And to be fair, we got to 20% renewable electricity, mostly from wind, without large industrial scale. Yeah, there was various sizes for sure, uh, but it hasn't all only meant industrial. And we had very few controversies for the first 10, 15 years. It is as we've tried to ramp up further, and I guess as more as companies have seen the potential profit in it. I was here today to talk about what we're doing in the eco-village in Clock Jordan in the context of trying to tackle climate change. So I was talking about um, the houses that we've built, they're highly energy efficient. I was talking about our community farm, which supplies low carbon emission food to the people living in the eco-village and the surrounding area. I was also talking about our district heating system that runs on wood chip and our enterprise centre. So probably the most positive thing we've done at Seed Savers over the last few years in the context of climate change was to open a bank. Some of you may know we've opened gardens only in situ seed bank and we store there in our bank over 800 varieties of open pollinated heritage heirloom and land raised seeds. By growing these seeds out on a regular basis we're ensuring that the seeds that we're passing on to you are able to evolve and adapt to changes. 
And because each year they've been exposed to slight variations, they'll have a greater predisposition for success. In working for Trokura, I know from travelling in different parts of Africa in particular, that climate change is a huge problem. It is having a huge impact on people's ability to produce food. We in Ireland face a huge challenge. We are among the highest emitters of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases anywhere on the planet. And with an election coming up in a few weeks, it's a great opportunity to talk to politicians and to ask them to put that to the forefront of politics and policies in Ireland in the coming five years. It's been a wonderful day with amazing stories from around the country to provide inspiration and we all need inspiration. Thank you.